better than that for a while. Let's uh, see if this guy has something for us. Yes, please. Ooh, I need like five dirty waters, right, to make make less dirty water. I am encumbered. Guess what goes first? Oh wait, let's see. Food. Oh yeah. Definitely need to learn how to make food. I am going to draw... No, maybe not. What is that? Ooh, guns plus ten. Not sure if that's something I'm ever going to use, but... Yeah, we need more recipes. We'll get rid of the dirty water for now. What's our weight? 200. I think that means we need to drop something else. Drop that. Probably a bunch of these. Oops. How about we drink a couple of these? Yeah. It does say H2O. Yeah, so it does hydrate us. That's right. Dirty water can suck it. We've got sarsaparilla. That's right. Who doesn't love sarsaparilla? Grimy pre-war business wear. Think about how fancy we'd be. No, it's on all the weapons in the game. Yeah, so if you're playing normally, you're going to experience condition. Uh, it's one of those things, I think, that's not necessarily the most awesome in any game. Actually, I kind of hate weapon durability as a mechanic in most games. But it's fine. It's fine. We're all fine here. Uh, what's the worst game for weapon durability? Man, there was a game I played not too terribly long ago that I was just so annoyed with. So I felt like I was repairing my weapons like every fight. Let's see, let's drink another sarsaparilla. There we go. For now. And for the record, like, you get uh, sugar from sarsaparilla, so it seems like it seems like you... Oh, right. Forgot that I was nearly encumbered. Um, let's see what's over here. Toilet. I can drink from the toilet. Keep me alive. Oh, look at this guy. You! What happened to you, man? <laughs> oh, physics. I don't want to go to... That's where I killed that guy. Um... Yeah. Weapon durability is a stupid... Well, I don't know. It's maybe more realistic or something. I don't know. Alright, let's go back around to the elevator. See if there's something we're checking out on the other side of that wall. I love these, like, scrape marks. Did someone drag a body through here? Alright. I did not write down what we needed to... Ooh, dang. I don't have enough... I don't have enough abilities yet. Very annoying. Okay. Let me in! Let me in! Ah! Jerk face! Am I stuck now? No. Fine. Okay, fine. We'll go somewhere else. I'm sure there's something really interesting up there. Well, we broke the deputy. But, I'll take these casings and this pistol. I totally forgot that I can repair. Uh, on the road like this. It's pretty nice. Well, I mean, in the way of having to do something. Let's see? Oop. That helps. Is there anything else that I have that needs repairing? Are there any millions of things that I have like this? Let me repair this. Lightweight armor reinforced. Oops. 
Where did it go? Lightweight metal armor. That's what we're wearing. So we're all right. Cool. Here we go. Wait, this is probably broken too, huh? Yeah. We need better repair skills. I have a feeling we're gonna have a hard time in this town. We need to go over to that door. That guy definitely saw us. Come on, bro. Dynamite, really? That's how you're gonna play it? Oh, dang it. No! God! Freaking stupid. His friends are all up on that train station. So I didn't want him to get clear over there. If they see me, I think that that'll be a problem. Vicky and Vance. Sure looks like a fancy place. This kind of makes me think of, um... I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. The town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Hey, I'm a courier with them. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. That's all right. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Uh, yes. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. Ooh. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Yeah. What was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Oh, cowboy Each was carrying robot. something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. Mm. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Mm. Well, that's where you came in. Indeed. Why did he cancel, do you know? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. Oh. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Well, that doesn't sound strange at all, or ominous in any way. Uh, do you know where he was or where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that and turn down the money, too. Yeah. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. I don't think so. Not enough for me to say. Dude's holding a grudge, I think. Uh, so some men stole my package? Checkered suit, thugs. See him? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through daisy with some suit. of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Uh, so one of them guys shot me? I need to know the best way to get to him. Deputy Beagle would have been your best bet before nah, he met that so. tragic end. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him. And he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. Maybe you can track That's down whatever notes happen. he was keeping and find something to help you there. <laughs> Why don't I have the option to tell you that there might be a problem with that? I'd like to ask you about something else. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Ooh, let's see, I was I want to ask you more about the delivery I was supposed sure, to make. Sure, I'll tell you what I know. Oh. Don't go oh. getting yourself shot. I already did that once, dude. Let me put my weapon away. Let's talk to some of these guys in here, huh? Why are they all just carrying their guns? Ruby Nash. 
Howdy. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Uh, who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are Prim long timers. He fancies himself a trader, and I know my way around the kitchen. Oh, what do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. Boy, it's that more sounds healthy. It's more than it sounds. Sure. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor. And it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. Wow, that sounds it's fantastic. It's perfectly safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Because that'll kill you dead. Oh, uh... What? Okay, wait, tell me about... Prim. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So I don't have <laughs> nothing to say about Prim, for the time being at least. What would it's make a it sad better? state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? Oh, I don't have any. Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come back when you do. Sure will. Thanks, Ruby. Goodbye. Wow, that was a really scary goodbye. Oh, you can't just open the vending machines here. That's stealing. Okay. Oh, look at look at all the things we could steal. Stealing, stealing. I wonder how we get back in there to steal from all those other things. Look at these robots. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Casino and Museum. Uh, who are you? Prim Slim at your service. Prim Slim. Authentic cowpoke and official spokespot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Uh, who were Vicky and Vance? Where have you been, oh. partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. <laughs> Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. I absolutely want to hear this story. Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell their tale in a mess of years. First things first, like any mosh you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but yep. ill-tempered slander. Oh, slander. The fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? Now, <laughs> true. Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. But crime is crime. They drove <laughs> reckless, too. They Having drove lived reckless, by the too. Gun. Well, Vance owned one, anyway. It was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. What? Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. <laughs> you can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over death car. And there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. Ooh. So tell me about Prim, buddy. Prim is a thriving resort community located in Clark County, Nevada, right along Interstate 15. Ooh. Whether you can't wait till Vegas to try your luck or want to hit one last jackpot before you leave Nevada, Prim's your place. The sure. town's premier attraction is the world-famous Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. So you came to the right place, partner. Uh, I don't know about that. So this Bison Steve Hotel across the street. <clears throat> the Bison Steve is one of Prim's less impressive casino hotels. I'd steer clear of that place, partner, if I were you. Rumor is the dealers over there cheap, and that rickety what? roller coaster is liable to fall down any day because it wasn't built to cold. <laughs> so, uh, what is this place? Why, this is the Vicky and Vance Casino hey. Museum. Prim's premier tourist attraction and resort destination. Yeehaw! I'm glad that a robot has to say this. trails, partner. I like how I had it again. I wonder what he would do if I asked him to play it again. Hey! 
the 9mm submachine gun preserved in the glass case to the left of this plaque is the actual weapon Vance carried in a paper-wrapped box under some suitcases in the trunk of his car during his and Vicky's crime spree. Never fired and luckily untouched by the hail of bullets that ended its notorious owner's life, the weapon's mint condition inspires dread in all who look upon it. Experts speculate that Vance might have killed as many as 50 people had he ever fired the gun. So long as his aim was exact and he was starting off with a full clip, or even more if he had additional ammo clips and remembered to reload. Howdy. Interesting. <laughs> it's amazing. It's hysterical. Look at that. Look at that car. Is that Ruby again? Yeah. I'm not gonna steal this camera. Vance's outfits. Look at these naked guys. These mannequins display replicas of some of the clothing that was found in the trunk of Vicky and Vance's death car. Vance didn't share Vicky's sense of fashion and chose to dress himself how he envisioned a gangster would dress. <laughs> this duo, pretty killer. Oh, that's great. Hey, Quite resident. Quite a here. Sheriff gets murdered, and Deputy Beagle dragged off for ransom to the Bison Steve. That should bring back the tourists. Yeah, I gotta oh, tell oh, someone oh. about that. You come to the wrong place, traveler. Prim's dying. Who are you? Are you? Another resident. Hey, Mr. Nash. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Uh, let's see. Your deputy died in Bison Steve. I have some questions about your robot. That beat up whole thing. What do you want to know? What's wrong with it? Hell if I know. I don't think it's serious, but my tinkering days are long gone. Do you mind if I try and fix it? Are you welcome to try? It's yours if you can get it working. Fantastic. If I had my way, I'd dump it in the scrapyard in Novak, Novak and be done with the damn thing. Scrapyard. Ooh. Where did it come from? A courier dropped it off a couple of months back. I got it working for a little while, but the darn thing pooped out. Damn. I haven't been able to get it up and running again. I was hoping to use it for some courier work. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Darn. I'd like to ask you about something I guess else. I don't have anywhere better to be. Let's see. Your deputy. Do you have anything for sale? Ooh. A hand of caravan. See, I don't have any. Okay. Your deputy died in Bison Steve. Well, I guess you're going to have to find us a new lawman. Okay. I suggest talking to those NCR troopers across the bridge. I also overheard the Potter gangsters talking about some ex-sheriff on lockdown there. Oh. Cool. What about Prim Slim? Could he be sheriff? Well, I guess I never thought of that. I guess he could be sheriff. If you think he could be reprogrammed for it. Ooh. I wonder if I could reprogram him. I guess we'll find out. Let's see. Why do you keep calling them gangsters? I thought we had, they were called powder gangers. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. I get it. I get it. Let's see. Let's see. Do you have anything for sale? Sure. Have a look. Oh, great. Can I sell you a bunch of my garbage? You have 500 caps. Miscellaneous. Uh, take that. That. And those. Um, let's see. I think I want to keep these cases and see about... Junk, 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 junk. Lead. Is lead junk, really? Need to figure that out. Lunchbox. Cigarettes. Um, small pistol. Wait, I think I need the primer to do stuff. Rad scorpion poison glands. I need like four, three more of those. Vacuum cleaner. Don't think I need the glue. Man, I can't remember. 
I don't think I need these bark scorpion poison glands. Um, let's see what else. What else can we get rid of? Um, we'll keep that. We'll get rid of all of these. Uh, we'll get rid of the throwing spears. So we are not going to use those. Sturdy caravan shotgun. Let's see. 4.5, 36. Yeesh. Okay. Apparel. Oh yeah, here we go. We get rid of that, and that, and that, and this, and the trooper helmets. Yeah. Look at us. Yeah, look at that. That's close. Awesome. We did it right. Let's see if he's got anything good. Uh, he's got... Let's see, apparel, aid, do you have, you don't have anything else, ammo. Scott, sure. All right, for now. Do you have 10 millimeter rounds? No. See, Give I me need... a shot if you need anything else. Let's see, where can I get information on the guy? A beagle that has some notes oh, yeah. he was taken while... Okay. Oh, Bye. yeah, his journal. We got his journal. So, his miscellaneous. Right? Beagle's journal? What was it called? Where would that... Would that be in data? Miscellaneous? Deputy Beagle's journal. Here we go. This is most unusual. The powder gangers have visitors today. I guess there's a first for everything. Now, those tough-looking fellows must be great cons. I recognize those funny helmets and leather vests from stories I've heard. Stories. So what are they doing with that dapper gentleman who wears a checked suit? I wouldn't mind a suit like that. They're talking about heading south toward Nipton, then west to Novak where they'll meet up with someone. Novak. I guess I could track them if I needed to, but the town of Prim needs me here to serve and protect. Sure. Oh my, I think I've been spotted. Uh-oh. One of the highlights of the museum. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. That's pretty neat. Okay. Head to Novak. Ask around Novak about your attackers. Let's see if we can reprogram this. The, I don't remember what my... Uh, what is it? My skills? What would it be? Repair? Science? Ooh, not good at either of those things. Let's see if Slim. Hey, oh, Slim. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Using three fission batteries and four conductors. I think we have 30. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Uh -oh. This is going to go badly. Found. Oh my gosh. Tell me about. Vicky and Vance again. Oh, do you know about Vance's missing gun? Just mose you on over to the display case and you'll see it plain as day. Quite a piece, that gun. Mint condition. Never fired. Ooh. I need more science. The display case is empty. Have you gone loco, partner? I can see the gun with my own three photo sensors from where I'm standing right now. Uh-oh. I need more science knowledge, everyone. It's very important. He's not going to listen to reason. We've got to figure him out. Okay. Happy trails, partner. He's, n he's now, now the sheriff. Ooh, science. Oh, but that's not going to give me the 50 that I need. Okay. Oh, no. My notes are gone. I think they're in the other room. How am I supposed to know what I'm doing? Okay. Let's see. Where's my, my speech is at 40. Right now, that should be okay. We will... 40 in science. I know we need repair. I think it's hysterical that we just made this robot sheriff. <laughs> uh, it's, that's right, silly. Ooh. Darn. 
I need more points. This is horrible. Just horrible. Is it worth putting 10 points into science? I think it's a break. Oh, gosh. It's 10 points. Could dump 10 points into speech and be at 50. I can't remember. I do not remember what the break points are for this. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so lockpick. Oh, so I have to get this to 50. So if I dro uh, drop it at 50, I can get into the, the uh, lock that's just across the street. Then we can just drop five points into somewhere else. Oh, science is at 52. Ah, oh, gosh. Okay, so I've got five more points to spend. Where do we put them? Because nothing breaks at 30, I don't think. Sneak is at 36. 40. Gosh, this is the worst. Because this is going to have to be like 50 or something, right? To remain undetected. Ah. <sighs> survival oh yeah I don't think we're going that direction sneak one more point one more point guns it's just gonna be a dump stat yeah yeah just dump into guns basically okay and how many points did I put here Four, just to get it to 40 so that it's even. I feel like sneak, is sneak not a dump stat too? I don't feel like there's break points for sneak. It's not like you're hitting challenge levels. So we need science and lock pick and repair with break points and then guns is a dump stat. Got it, okay. Yeah, oh shoot, intense training. One more time. Uh, luck. Yep. Because we need all the luck we can get. Um, is there, there's gotta be someone else we didn't talk to in here. Is there another person who actually has a name? Or maybe a bed? Or some food? Oh, right. Does Ruby actually sell food beyond... Should have talked to... Howdy. Howdy. Where did he go? Graham. Hey, Ruby. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Yeah, I don't have your... She doesn't Bye. have a purchase option. Bye. Oh, sounds sad. What the heck is this? Oh, hilarious. Why is his body in here now? Can I just... I'm going to save real quick, but I think that's hysterical. Howdy. Where are you all going? Howdy. Out into the streets now? Yeah, you're looking at me weird. Hey. Heard it was you brought the law back to Prim, youngster. Oh, right. Hats off to you. Yeah. Sure, have a look. I want to see if you've got any food. Oops. Uh, rads, rads, rads. All of his stuff has rads. Squirrel stew. All right. How can you survive eating all of this radiated Bye. food, buddy? Look at everybody's Hi. leaving here because they can go out into the streets again, because our robot dude <laughs> has made Prim, Prim safe again. There's like no one in here now, right? This is how you lose karma. Bottle caps, pre-war money, nothing. I'm not gonna steal anything because it's not worth the karma and there wasn't anything worth stealing. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is to go back in there. We'll come back and rob these people blind later. We need to, but we really do need to get our science up. But 
That would require more. I want to see if we can run on this track. Yes! Oh, come on. Oof. Come on. Oh. Oh, man. I want to go up there. <laughs> 